So if fluoridation is the cause for the 25% decrease in tooth decay, how is it that other European countries have seen similar decreases without fluoridating their water? This is a cool question, um, and I'm being sincere. We love comparing rates of disease in different countries uh, to figure out you know, what the contributing factors are. It's hard to prove, but likely a contributing factor for you know, tooth decay declining around the world um, is the invention of fluoride toothpaste, the invention and uptake of fluoride toothpaste. But there is more to explore than just that. Um, first of all, I just want to point out, you say, you know, other countries do it without fluoridating their water in Europe. There's a lot of countries in Europe that did fluoridate their water for a while and then stopped doing it. So we have to acknowledge that that could be a factor in there as well. I will also say that in 2023, the WHO called for urgent action on oral disease as the highest rates they found were occurring in the European region. Um, but of course, Europe is a diverse network. Uh, of countries with different policies. So even though 97% of Western Europe does not fluoridate their water, let's look at some countries with good oral hygiene and see what they're doing. Um, there's something called the DMFT index, which stands for decay, missing, or filled teeth. And when you look at it in 12-year-olds, the lower the number, the better oral health of that population in that country. So a 2020 study on the DMFT index in 12 year olds in Europe ranked Denmark, Germany, UK, and Sweden as the top four. Denmark does not fluoridate their water, but they do offer free dental cleanings to all kids under 18. They require parents to go with them to all of those cleanings to learn how to properly brush their teeth. Germany does not fluoridate water, but they do fluoridate table salts, and many German pediatricians recommend the use of fluoride supplements in infants. In the UK, fluoride is naturally found in most drinking water at low levels anyway. 10% of the country fluoridates their water, and some places in the country fluoridate their milk. Sweden also does not fluoridate their water, but some areas have higher levels of naturally occurring fluoride. So these places might not add fluoride to their water, but they don't ban all fluoridation, and some of them even encourage fluoride supplementation in other ways. Um, plus, a lot of these places have just like free dental care until people are 18. So the thing to remember is that healthy teeth don't just happen out of nowhere, and water fluoridation is a really good way to reach people who need dental support the most, who really don't have access to regular dental visits. I will talk about fluoride as much as we need to for people to feel comfortable and understand why we do it. <laughs> 